Hi guys, Oliver here from Pin Generator. I'm just here to show you how to use the tool and how to use all the features within the app. So, on the homepage here, you go to pingenerator.com and type in your favorite URL. Ours is ollieandthecaps.com, which is mine and my fiance's blog. And then you go generate. It does a little bit of thinking behind the scenes uh, and it pulls up your blog posts and creates them as pins. So here on the left-hand side, we can see that it scans your site for sitemaps. So if you have products on your page uh, or other categories or other sitemaps where there are posts, you can click on either any one of these sitemaps and it will generate posts and pins from those sitemaps. So we detect that for you automatically and you have the option there to do that. Uh, running down, we can select our font here into whatever font you like. All of these settings on the left-hand side are global and they affect all of the pins at the same time. So here you can do adjust the font size, uh, and the, fo the font title weight, uh, and then the URL font size. So if the pin has the URL or the address at some point, you can adjust that size as well as the weight. Um, and then you can select a color for your pin I've also created a pre-selection a, a pre of colors here, which the colors I think are quite nice. And so that's a nice way to get the, the colors going. Uh, then you can also choose from templates. So it starts off as random templates, but if you'd like to use one template in particular, you can just select it and all of the pins will update like this. And so that's templates, image settings, uh, the image settings, if you'd like to randomize the images, you can check this box. What it does is it'll look within your sitemap and within the posts for images that you have there. And if possible, it'll use a variety of images there. So you can see as I click randomize here, the posts that it can find images for, it updates. So this is a nice quick way to make multiple pins from the same post. Your image position, obviously you can shift it left, right or center. If you'd like to add a logo, you can add a logo to the site. Uh, I think I have one on my desktop. Here we go. That's our Ollie and the Captain head. So that is visible in the standard template. Standard template, circle template, and I think the uh, landscape friendly template. So you can see the, the logo over there. So yeah, that's how you enter in your logo. You can't see this because it's white on white, so maybe I should fix that. Um, and you can decide if you want to hide the URL text so that makes it disappear. Coming on down, if you'd like to select specific blog posts from uh, your site, the ones that have been detected within the sitemap will appear here, and you can select whichever ones you'd like to generate, and you can generate them. This will go through those ones and just make those the so that's that. Also, if you are feeling like you wanna get some new inspiration, what I have here is after you generate your pins, you can hit the shuffle button here. And this will shuffle templates and images. So you can shuffle them until you like a set of pins or you can pin along the way. And yeah, it's a great way to just quickly generate your pins. So pinning itself, you can You've got your menu bar here for each pin. The first button says pin to Pinterest. So if you click that, oh, I gotta log in. <laughs> if you click that button, it'll pin this pin straight through to Pinterest. So it will open Pinterest in a new tab with this image. So you can see it's doing it. And there we go. You can choose the board you wanna add it to and hit save. Uh, you can also download the image and it'll come down over here and then I have a new feature here where you can edit the pin. So this will bring up uh, a big board where you have all the details on where you can edit the pin. So let me edit a better one, this one, because this one has images I wanted to show you. So you can say change the pin title, rocking bike trip. Uh, this is the address text. So you can say mysite.com. It also capitalizes the text here for you, so it looks nice and neat. 
This pin description is the description that goes through to, to the Pinterest pin. So you can write whatever you want here. I'll just write test, test. And then this is the URL so that the pin will follow. So if you click on the pin itself within Pinterest, this is the URL that it'll take you to. So it automatically is the, the URL of the post, but you can change that if you'd like. And then you can change the, the template from within this page. And you can also change the image, which is quite cool. So this is a nice way to make all little smaller changes to the single pin itself. Hit save when you're done, and it'll update like that, and you're sorted. So once you're happy, pin it to Pinterest, and rock and roll. One thing I forgot to mention here is that if you would like to generate pins for a single blog post, you can do so by simply selecting the URL of the blog post. So here we've got our plan your surf trip to Bali blog post. Go over to pin generator, paste that URL in here. You can see it's not the home page, it's got the surf trip to Bali slug. And select how many pins you want to generate from that post and hit generate. It'll do a little bit of work and it'll generate that many pins, so in this case 10 pins, from that single blog post. So it'll go into the blog post and it'll look for all the images that you used within that blog post and generate a bunch of pins from it. So you can see all of these pins have the same title uh, and they'll have the same description too, but they have lots of different images. So this is a great way to generate lots of pins from the same post. You can see here it's picking up a Pinterest image here. So what you can do if you want to change that is just jump into the edit and select another picture, uh, whichever one you want. And of course you can change the title and everything else as usual. So the purpose of this is to help you generate lots of pins quickly for your Pinterest marketing strategy. Um, I hope it helps and let me know if you have any requests. There's a feedback button down at the bottom of the site here. You can get hold of me just by hitting that. It sends me an email and you can submit some features that you'd like to see or any bugs that you have and I'll, and I'll get to them and I'll fix them. Cool, cheers.